Sandri for MMA Plus. I'm alongside Gabriel Gonzaga. Um, Gabe, you're fighting uh, Krokop in a rematch on Saturday. Um, how surprised were you that he came back to the UFC? I'm really surprised because I wasn't expecting it, but I know he's a really high-level fighter, so not that surprised. Okay, cool. And um, how much have you followed his career in, in glory since he's left the UFC? Uh, I, I watched a couple of fights. He, he's still dangerous, so he's still with high kicks, and that's uh, something you need to pay attention and don't give you opportunity. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're very well known for the first fight against um, against Krokop, the high kick. Uh, how much have you changed as a fighter that, since then? Because, you know, it was sort of seven years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, a, lo a lot of changing because uh, eight years ago I uh, was one fighter, today I'm another fight, so I, I put eight years more training of different uh, martial arts like boxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, and add to my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game eight more years of training too, so that's uh, a lot of time, so it's a complete different fighter. Yeah, I mean, how, how is your mindset going into a rematch? Because he said, you know, he wants to avenge the loss, he said he wants to die trying, I mean, how was your mindset going into this fight, you know, given that you have beaten him before? Yeah, uh, training uh, to, to win my fight. So uh, as a stand-up game or a ground game, it doesn't matter. You need to be ready to go wherever the fights go. Yeah. And um, I want to talk about your jiu-jitsu pedigree because obviously you're, very, you're a very skilled fighter. You've, you've won world titles in jiu-jitsu. What is it about jiu-jitsu that, you, you know, you've kind of taken to so well? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is about training a lot and put the time on the mat to learn. Uh, but uh, MMA is not Jiu-Jitsu anymore. Before, we could be more uh, use more Jiu-Jitsu because there uh, was different rules. Now the rules doesn't help. I cannot um, uh, hit with my heel on his uh, kidney. I cannot use a couple of elbows. Uh, I cannot take too long on the ground. I cannot, uh, if the fight gets confused, the referee can stand up. So it's, it's a completely different fight. Uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, in my opinion, is the best as a self-defense for the real life. But uh, MMA is not real life. MMA is a control environment. Then uh, the referee going to say stop and come back standing anytime. So that's a completely different game. And what do you think about um, shows like Meta Morris? Because it is pushing Jiu-Jitsu into the mainstream, isn't it? Yeah, but Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, uh, as a metamorphosis is not real life and uh, true because don't have punches and kicks. So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a complete uh, a self-defense art when you learn from the root and you know and then you can do as a self-defense. But the best way is uh, metamorphosis is showing the sport of side of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Then you can practice and don't get hurt and people can develop some skills from there. The first, when you first came to the UFC, you were very prolific, getting more and more submission wins, submission, submission. Uh, late, your last couple of fights, it's been more striking based, particularly with your finishes. Some of the wins have been knockouts. What do you think changed to take you away from the submission dominance you had when the first came to the UFC to the striking that you've been doing more recently? Actually, my, my, my score is really well split, like I think seven or six. And uh, my first fight was a knockout, and so I, I try to be more uh, controlling on the stand-up game too, and the ground game, and need to remember the fight starts standing, so we cannot submit from a standing position, so the odds are going to bring much more KOs than a submission. Alessandri for MMA Plus, thank you very much.